Tri City Sports Now. I'm Marky e. Bilson. I get. I mean, we are going to see. I with the shootings that have taken place recently, and Jerry, you know, and I discussed a little off the air. Protests in Bristol, maybe not. Media pressure, yes. I think you might see drop the NRA, just like. You know, Winston Cup. And I've screwed up today twice and called it, not the Monster Energy Cup, but the Winston Cup. So if you were a child of the 80s like I was, uh, M, if you grew up in the 20th century, if you were what, it's still, you know, I go down 421 on my way to Winston-Salem, I pass the old North Wilkesboro Speedway, and what do I see? It's weathered, it's old, but it's still a billboard outside that... that <clears throat> You know, crumbling track, Winston Cup Series. And if you're of a certain mindset, you, or a certain era, you do your second thought, not your first, is to say, boy, that's an old sign because it says Winston Cup Series up there outside of North Wilkesboro. Not because, boy, that, that sign is weathered. And it depends a lot on your generation. I mean, it's, I mean, your generation go by New North Wilkesboro, you're younger. Boy, it says Winston Cup, that's old. You're a little bit, you're, I'm 48, okay, child of the 80s. And you see, boy, is that all weathered. Boy, oh yeah, it's not the Winston Cup anymore. Hasn't been since what, 2002? So, yes, Hank Aaron no longer plays center field for the Braves. Have you heard they're in Atlanta now? And I'm, regardless. Oh, where to go from here? I mean, there's been so much, you know. You know what they had yesterday? I'm going to talk a little bit about this. They had the Arena Football Championship, Arena Bowl 32. I remember Arena Bowl 1. The Albany Empire defeated the Philadelphia Soul 45 to 27. There are only five arena football teams out there. That used to be a big thing. I used to love arena football. But one of the problems is that the franchises were not stable. And there became a lot of competitive football leagues of the for indoor football. Some of them were fly by night. Some of them were a little more legit. He had a gentleman from ArenaFan.com last year on, and we learned that one man owned two franchises. And that never works. They put the game on ESPN2. I remember when I was on network TV, the Arena Bowl, when it was on ESPN. Then again, I can also remember when it wasn't on anything. So, you know, it was on syndication. So, you know, it comes and goes and all this. Uh, it's difficult when, because nobody really wants to be a play for the Albany Empire. They want to play for the New York Giants or the Jets or the Bills. They want to be in the highest level. They don't want to be in the 50-yard indoor war on the floor. I get that. But then again, Albany's coach, after the game, I was watching a little bit of, uh, I, I watched the, post-game celebration, all the fans out on the arena floor, turf, if you will, and the Empire's coach said, arena football works in Albany. This isn't the first team they've had there. There was a team called the Albany Firebirds. But think about that. Arena football works in Albany. And Albany has been a long time, you know, arena football town. Because really, what else do they got in Albany? Well, they got the state capitol. Yeah, but to root for. Albany State? Yeah, okay, that's not really that high level. Well, you get to drive to Syracuse or New York City to watch teams? Yeah, there's nothing really in Albany. And it reminded me, and it's why I talk about a new arena in the Tri-Cities so much, because just like it was said, Albany... Arena football works in Albany. I wonder, would arena football work 
in the Tri-Cities, if there was a venue. I mean, you can argue that the Mini Dome may be, but yeah, you've always got the sightline problems, and yeah, it's built for 100-yard football. It's not an arena in that type. I've talked about it with a new arena. You see, Freedom Hall, Viking Hall, all those, they were built, I think they were built obsolete the moment they were completed. The floor space is only big enough for basketball, not for indoor football, not for hockey. Yeah. And so, as I say, obsolete before it started. You can never put an arena team there. A newer team, maybe. A new arena, maybe. Question is, I think the ECHL, yeah, I think I'd stick around. That's not a fly-by-night league. Arena football... Boy. But is that the future of arena ball? Playing in places like Albany, like the Tri-Cities, and maybe not so much Philly, where they probably were reading about Eagles Camp before what the Soul did this past weekend. This is a good area for the Southern Conference, and I'm going to talk to SoCon John Hooper. He's a pretty good reporter in covering this conference. Tri-City Sports Now, we're going to come back and talk about SoCon football when we return on 1420 WEMB Sports Radio. We're back on Facebook Live and, of course, just broadcasting.live. <laughs> 